think I drink a lot of pop, but that's like when I'm sitting down. I drink a lot of water. I walk my dog two hours or you miles mean soda? a day. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck is pop, bro? You and Troy both need a channel point reward to do the dismantle sound. Look, look, that's going too far. I'll just do it without without fucking any points. I'll do it. The roadmap just came out. No way! Yep. Holy shit! I'm in a fucking chaos! I'm going to Twitter right now. Fuck! The roadmap is here. We joined in South Korea to look at the roadmap. Oh, shit! Let's go! Heroes of Arcasia. Let's fucking get it. What does it say? Uh, what looking through, we got, we got just kind of skimming team update. Advanced class release cadence. Lost Ark first launched in Korea in 2019, and Arcasia has been growing ever since with new challenging oh activities, God. content, and classes. Da -da 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 -da. We are planning to release one new advanced class every two months for the rest of 2022. That's pop. Uh, we worked with Smilegate RPG to carefully plan out the schedule, which is a much faster cadence than other regions as we catch up. We know some players are eager to max out the roster and want them even faster, but class releases build excitement and bring new and returning players into Arcasia. Having a steady flow of content releases that included advanced classes during Lost Ark's first year in the West will help support the long-term health of the game. Huh. What's up? It's just a lot of words that I'm trying to get through. Oh, wait, is this right here? As we've mentioned previously, we'll let players know what classes are coming out near Power Pass grants or progression events to ensure players can make an informed decision about how and when they want to use these features. In the roadmap below, you'll find more information on the next planned advanced class, the Arcanist. Oh, my my god why do they do this nobody wants that busted ass card <laughs> uh they got some behind the scenes release notes uh it's just them talking roadmap general here we go the content found below are some of the highlights we know players are looking forward to and similar to previous roadmaps it's a comprehensive list of everything releasing in these updates uh we're also planning on giving away every player a free punica power pass this summer and are fine-tuning the details for another express event We'll let you know when the dates and details are finalized. Yo, so when are we getting the new class? In July? Well, here's June. Legion Raid, Vicus, Normal, and Hard. Let's go! Uh, like Valton, the Legion Raid will require eight players to enter normal, pl mo normal mode. Oh. Players will need to reach item level 1430. And for Hard, 1460. Let's go! Let's fucking go! New Guardian Raid. I don't know how to say this, but it looks like Ice Chromanium. Joining Descaluta, the Frost Pet Predator, Big Ice Turtle, will enter the gauntlet of powerful level 6 Guardians. Available to players challenged once they reach, reach item level 1460 or higher. Okay. Throne, wait, Throne Spire is a new single player dungeon experience in a twisted dimension with 50 levels. Once no, you, that, that's the bridge. That looks like the bridge, yeah. That's the bridge. Once you enter a floor, you'll have a limited amount of time to clear it before moving to the next. That's or the bridge. Or completing the first 25 floors grants first-time clear rewards. You'll earn all rewards for the floors you conquer. The other 25 floors are focused on prestige and completion times, uh, proving you have the solo skills it takes to conquer anything the Demon Leech throw your way. Players will need to be item level 1325 to participate. New store cosmetics. Oh, I don't really care about this, but Yaz's Jar. New consumable that's arriving in the game store that will introduce a variety of epic and legendary skins. Oh, we're getting epic and legendary skins. You can break it down for... Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you have a skin you don't like or wear anymore, or maybe one from Yaz's Jar you're not a fan of, you can break it down for cloth which can be used with a jar to roll a new skin for from a determined list. This new cosmetic system will also give a chance to acquire legendary skins, which provide better benefits than epic skins. No worries if you like an older skin more than the looks of your new legendary one with bigger bonuses. You can overlay the skin you like over the legendary skin. That's all of June. That's June right there. So for June, we're getting Vicus, Normal and Hard, a new Guardian Raid for 1460, The Bridge, Throne Spire, and Yaz's Jar Cosmetics with the legendary skins just for June. Here's July. July is when we get the Arcanist. Right, that, that makes sense because I said two months. Yep. 
if you like the Arcanist, I just suggest looking up the Arcanist anyone because I I do not know anything about the Arcanist and I'm not the a fan mage of mages. Card class. It's so like it's the Sork. RNG one, right? It's like Sork. But you, you, what do you mean the R R R N G? It, it's you, like sort, but you use cards. I was told like there's this R N G to it that they can do like shit damage or the highest damage depending on the R N G they get from their card deck, like the certain card they pick uh -huh. up. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Let me let me look real quick. Regardless, that's that class. Oh, July Vaulton Legion raid Inferno difficulty. What? That's for Vicus. Inferno no, is for that Vaulton. Hell mode? For Vaulton. Oh, is that Hell Mode? The Inferno difficulty is all about proving you're the among the best of the best in Arcasia and earning the prestige. Rather than chasing the normal rewards of gear, materials, and everything yeah, else you're receiving that's in a hell mode. Yeah. Inferno rewards instead showcase your victory with titles, achievements, stronghold structures, and more. A new in game vendor will be added for players to access a variety of rewards. Um, there's. There are a few key differences between normal, hard, and inferno. Are they really calling hell mode inferno? Well, they're trying to fucking, um, like, cause the game wasn't released here, so all of their words are not our words. So they try to like, that's the Glavier fucking Lance thing, right? But we'll call it hell mode. I mean, yeah, it's hell mode. Um, also, the... Arcana is the R RNG class that you're saying. I wonder why they're releasing that one first for summer. I feel like that's a bad choice, but eh, whatever. Uh, Inferno mode will not count against your weekly attempt limit for Legion raids, so you can play Vaulton on normal, hard, and Inferno in the same week and try Inferno as many times as you like. The gate progression system will not be active. You can't make it halfway and come back later in the week, so you have to do it all in one go. Hell mode. Yep. Yes. Challenge Abyssal Dungeons in July. Uh, similar to how the recently yeah. released Challenge Guardian Raids applies Scales of Harmony to equalize your power against your foe, Challenge Abyssal Dungeons will use this treatment in new weekly activity. With greater challenge also comes greater rewards. Various honing materials, selection pouches like, Guardian, like Challenge Guardian Raids, you can pick the offering closest to your item level. We'll rotate through the rewards and cards of plenty are available as drops or in the end of dungeon loot auction you can play through each abyssal dungeon once per roster each week that's a lot to do that's july oh yeah all right time to go make a video <laughs> <laughs> so recap let me just look here um they're telling us they're going to release an advanced class every two months for the rest of 2022 so 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 that means new class in july new class in september and that means a new class in um november. november so we're gonna get three new classes this year so artist will i'm feeling like artist is gonna, gonna be like fucking in december or i mean uh november what if what if they threw something at us crazy in december and we're like you know what fuck it here's another class yeah that would be awesome. That would be kick ass, well, dude. Right around. Well, they're giving us one in November. Maybe they'll give us a, like a Christmas gift. For I December. hope something, something. Um, but June we're getting Vicus, a 1460 Guardian, the T3 Tower slash Bridge, uh, oh, more no, legendary Vulcan. skins, and then in July we're getting Arcanist, Inferno, Hell Mode, Vaulton and challenge right. abyssals what does this say looking ahead we're excited to witness the epic battles against vicus and seeing which heroes are able to defeat vaulton in the inferno difficulty stay tuned to our website social channels and the release notes for the full list of new islands oh so we're getting new islands store updates events bug fixes and more over the coming months big big this is big this is a lot and they did say that we are potentially getting where was that at uh, this summer, it says Punica, it's under Roadmap General. Um, we're also planning on giving every player a free Punica Power Pass this summer. So June or July, I don't think they specified. And are oh, fine-tuning yeah. the details for another Express event. Damn, we're getting a lot. We are. That's pipe. Right, one second.